am Karen Kefauver, and I might get confused up here. I typically teach social media and start talking about how to use Facebook and Twitter and Google+, but I'm here to talk about something different tonight, and I've been really inspired already by what I've heard, and uh, I keep thinking about um, dismantling a piano. I, I just can't get a grip on that. So I wear two hats. I have lived in Santa Cruz for 23 years, and when I first got here, I had graduated from University of Vermont, and I was a very conservative East Coaster, and all my wardrobe was brown and black, and I'll never forget my first trip to Westcliff Drive in the sheer shock of seeing these men and women in these skin-tight suits running back and forth to the ocean. Really, growing up in Washington, D.C., the surf culture is not part of the mainstay. So for all of you surfers who've grown up with it from the time you were born, it still is surprising to some of us. Um, so I got here in 1993, and my first job was working as an editor at Good Times. I started at the very bottom as the calendar editor and worked my way up. And the reason I mention that is because my job career has totally paralleled the risks that I've taken as an athlete. So um, let me put this down, but I want to say extreme sports night. I really would like to hear from some of you about what the most extreme things have done, you've done, and especially from some of the younger folks. Okay, so the two hats I wear, I'm a social media consultant and I'm a writer. And I have covered the X Games when they were in San Diego years ago. I've gone to several Hawaii Ironman triathlon championships in Kona, which will blow your mind watching those folks. And I've also gone to the Sea Otter Classic for about 20 years in a row and reported on the athletes there, ranging from the days they actually used to have inline skaters at uh, Sea Otter. And that was something I did a lot after my bike was stolen. I was uh, known for um, inline skating all across town. But really the thing I wanted to say is that I took a risk coming to Santa Cruz. I moved here not for school, not for a boyfriend, and not for a job. I just grew up in Washington, D.C., and I heard this was a cool place. I went to a youth hostel, checked in, and had a great time. But I wasn't certain, so I got on a bus, a train, did a little bit of hitchhiking, and next thing I knew, I went all the way up the coast, all the way to Alaska, thinking maybe I was going to live in uh, Juneau or, or somewhere up there. And then when I was freezing my butt off in the spring in Alaska, I thought about that youth hostel in Santa Cruz and those surfers and Catalyst Dollar Night. And I came right back down to Santa Cruz. I called my mom. I was 23. And I said, I'm staying here. She said, oh, good. And she uh, bailed my stuff. And pretty much I've been here ever since. But what happened is after, when I started working at Good Times as an editor, I started getting press releases and realizing what an athletic community is. Um, there were triathlons, there were surfers, and all kinds of people doing cool stuff. I had not been partic particularly athletic in college, so my first risk was I decided to try a triathlon. And at that time, back in 1997, there, that wasn't such a big thing. Now, most people do triathlons. But back then, it was so novel that I called the San Jose Mercury News. Even though I worked at Good Times, this was OK. And I said, I'm going to do my first triathlon. Can I write a story about it for your paper? And I was terrified, because here I was, a, a little you know, local writer reaching out to a big metropolitan, metropolitan newspaper, and I got my first story in there. And that was really, um, that was extreme for me to take that risk, and it was exciting. Uh, the other, another risk I took, I'm smiling at the surfers amongst you, is for the Santa Cruz Sentinel, one of my first stories for them, I volunteered to try surfing for the first time. And it was not pretty. I, I have to say, I just thought you kind of paddle out and just get up on the board, and it's just sort of a natural um, thing, but no. So the Sentinel photographer was so excited because he said, oh, I got the best wipeout picture of you. 
And I said, oh, great. He goes, that's what we're going to print. I said, all right. And, of course, I also had a wetsuit that I borrowed from someone. It was like this big kind of ridiculous-looking trash bag. But my point is I've not only done triathlons, I've raced mountain bikes, I've raced cyclocross, and that's all been all really powerful for me. For me, and especially as a woman, there there's not there's still not as many women representing. There are a lot more women in sport, competitive sports than there used to be. But I'm just even looking at the women in the audience saying, "Come on, ladies." Um, so my goal right now is to just try to take a risk every day. And people think sometimes that a risk has to be riding Mavericks or going around the world, but you can take much smaller risks. Um, I've been really inspired already by you're launching a new business, you're launching a new magazine, um, what, what you've been doing with your creativity. And I just want to remind people, your, your risks don't have to be in sports. It's extreme sports night, but through my life, through my writing, and at the same time doing sports, it, they, they build on one another. If you take a risk in your personal life, it, it can translate to trying something new, um, a new sport. So I also teach social media. And one of the reasons I do that is because not only am I a writer, but I like people to tell their stories. In essence, I want to hear what your stories are. I will write about them, or I will direct you to someone else who will write about them. So I've written for, I started with Good Times, the Santa Cruz Sentinel. I currently write an article on mountain biking, cycling, everything cycling related that's published once a month. And I have also written for Velo News, Triathlon Magazine, a number of sports publications, and I'm always happy to hear your ideas. So when Matthew asked me five minutes ago <laughs> to get up here spontaneously and say something, um, my, my two messages for tonight, take a risk, whether it's microphones, whether in sports or in your personal life, and to also, on a personal note, give me your story ideas. It can be about yourself. It can be about your brother, your mother, your sister. And honestly, through all these years, I've, I've interviewed wild people who have rollerbladed on off-road skates um, down Mount Kilimanjaro. Um, I talked to a guy who holds the world record in skydiving. And as a result... I did my most extreme sport, which was taking my first um, tandem jump in a place in Hollister. You're making a face, Katie. I, I can give you the contact info for you to do it. Um, it was terrifying, and um, I threw up when I landed. <laughs> but uh, I'm glad I did it and survived to talk about it. 